Hello, my name is Katie Rose Messmore and I'm the Principal Trainer for Solutions Digital Strategies. Here at Community Health Network, we want your experience to be exceptional, no matter how you communicate with your care team. One way that we are doing that is by improving the capabilities of MyChart. This video is going to show you how to e-check in for your appointments. You can e-check in up to 72 hours before your appointment begins. We suggest that you check in no later than 30 minutes before your appointment begins to give you the proper time to complete the e-check-in process. You can sign in to your MyChart account from your mobile device, a laptop, or a desktop. If you are using a mobile device to sign into your MyChart, download the Community Mobile app. Once downloaded onto your phone, tap the icon to enter the app. Then, tap the MyChart icon to access your MyChart. If you have a MyChart account, type in your username and password and tap on the sign in button. If you do not have a MyChart account, but you have an activation code from your enrollment letter or provider, tap on the I have an activation code button. If you do not have an activation code, tap the I need an activation code button and follow the directions to set up your MyChart. If you are using a desktop or laptop to sign into your MyChart, Go to the ecommunity.com website and click on the MyChart sign-in link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. If you have a MyChart account, click on the sign-in tab, enter your username, your password, and click sign in to MyChart. If you do not have a MyChart account, click on the register tab. If you have an activation code from your enrollment letter or provider, click register with code. If you do not have an activation code, click sign up here and follow the directions to set up your MyChart. Log in to MyChart. There are two ways that you can e-check in for your appointment. Click the e-check in button on your visit in your health feed or click the visits button on the toolbar. Your appointment is going to appear in the Upcoming Visits section. Click eCheckIn to start the check-in process. The first page is where you'll verify your personal inf information. At the top of the page, you will verify that your contact information is accurate. If you would like to receive text notifications for this visit, Click the box to select it. Verify your personal information in the contact information box and the details about me box. To edit the information, click the edit button. Notice that the next button is not live. This is because we have not verified that all of our information is correct. Once all of the information is correct on this page, click the This Information is Correct checkbox, and then click Next. On the insurance page, we will verify our guarantor by answering yes to the first question. Select the correct button on whether or not you would like to use insurance for this visit. Verify that our insurance information is correct. If the information needs updated, click the Update Coverage. If this information needs to be removed, click the Remove Coverage button. If you need to add an insurance card photo, click the Add Insurance Card Photo button. Add a coverage by clicking on the Add Coverage button. Once all information is correct, Click the This Information is Correct checkbox and click Next to go to the next page. In the Payments section, you will have the option to pay your outstanding balance, pay other amount, or pay outstanding balances later. Select the option that you would like to move forward with and click Continue. We will now verify our travel history. 
If you have taken any trips outside of the country, click Add a Trip button and document that trip. Once all information is correct, click the This Information is Correct button and click Next. On the medications page, you will review and verify your medications listed. If you need to remove a medication, click the Remove button on that specific medication. If you need to add a medication, click on the Add a Medication button. At the bottom of the page, you can select the pharmacy that you would like to use for this visit. If you do not see a pharmacy listed, you can add one by clicking the Add a Pharmacy link. Select your pharmacy, click This Information is Correct, and click Next. On the Allergies page, you will review and verify your allergies listed. If you need to remove an allergy, hover over that allergy and click the Remove button. If you need to add an allergy, click the Add an Allergy button. Once all information is correct, click the checkbox next to This Information is Correct and click Next. On the Health Issues page, you will review and verify your health issues listed. If you need to remove a health issues, hover over the health issue and click the Remove button. If you need to add a health issue, click the Add a Health Issue button. Once all of this information is correct, click the This Information is Correct and click Next. The last section is to complete the questionnaires listed. There can be multiple questionnaires that a patient might need to answer. The questionnaires can appear for a variety of reasons. For example, all patients will answer the Communicable Disease Screening Questionnaire, but only our Medicare patients will answer the Medicare as a Secondary Payer Questionnaire. Navigate through the questionnaire and answer the questions. When you get to the bottom of the questionnaire, click the Continue button. You will be taken to a summary of the questions that you just answered and the answers that you chose. To the right of each question is a pencil. If while reviewing the information you feel like your answer is not accurate, you can click the pencil to modify your answer. Once you are pleased with your responses, you will click the Submit button. All questionnaires will follow the same process of answering questions, reviewing the responses, and then submitting your responses. Your e-check-in is now complete. To see appointment details and to request a reminder call from your office, click on the Back to Visit Details button. Your appointment information appears on the left-hand side of the screen. Click the Confirm button to receive a reminder call for your appointment. If you are meeting with your provider via video visit and need further direction on how to complete your video visit, please visit ecommunity.com to view the video visit workflow recording. Thank you for watching our e-check-in video. If you would like to access step-by-step -step paper directions on how to complete e-check-in, please visit ecommunity.com to download our MyChart e-check-in workflow tips and tricks.